Hi, and welcome to a short demo of Elmira, a Blender-based rapid iterative visualization system developed for the Axiom project, but also open source and free for anyone to use. So in that regard, I want to point out that we have a preview release available on our GitHub page, which you can download for Windows, for Mac OS, for Linux. And after that, it's as simple as unzipping, going into the directory and running the executable. And then you can open your browser and navigate to the URL where Elmira runs and presents the interface. Okay, so let's dive right in. First, we need to create a visualization. And the idea behind Elmira is that anyone can create a visualization. So you don't have to run to your designer to get something, but you can be a journalist, a PR person, an engineer. It doesn't matter what's your technical background or your overall background. You just need a source model to work with and that you can import into the wizard and with very easy choices, uh, in a few steps, you can create a great looking visualization to use. So there are a few support formats, as you can see here. You can either drag and drop something from the disk, you can open a file select dialog, or you can alternatively enter a URL to a download location somewhere on the internet. In this case, I will pick something off the disk. After the short import phase, um, you get the choice to reorient your model in case it should be off in terms of any axis. You can flip it or you can turn it, but in this case it looks okay, so let's continue. Fundamentally for every um, visualization you have to, cho to choose between image, animation and an interactive web 3D widget. And for this demonstration I'm going to demo an animation. I'm going to reduce the length down to two seconds, so it renders quicker for the demo. And also the resolution I will keep down to 720 by 480. Um, as a next step, I can choose between different camera animations. So at the moment we can choose between a turntable animation and a kind of helix pattern. Let's go for turntable here. We can pick a style. So at the moment there's a choice between realistic style and the blueprint-like aesthetic. Let's go for realistic. And as a last step, uh, we can optionally uh, apply a modifier, which can be at the moment cross-section or animated cross-section. It cuts the model in half somewhere, it hides one half so you can see through it. Let's skip this for the demonstration as well. And the really last step is picking an ID. So that's the name that the visualization will be identified by. And also this will be used to create links. I'm going to aptly name it Lens Design Turntable and confirm it. Now, as soon as this uh, visualization is in the system, you have the possibility to already use it anywhere on the net. And this is one of the core points of Elmira. There's an embed button here. If I click that, it copies a link to, to the clipboard, and I'm going to show that in another tab, uh, which refers to the latest version of this visualization that I have just created. In this case, as you can see, it refers to a link which is local on my machine. If you set this up uh, for your company, for your um, hackerspace, an institute, university, whatever, it might be something like Axiom Labs. So it is like a constantly available res resource on the net, but uh, it's not static, but it's dynamic. So at this point, the first pass isn't even through, so we don't have a complete animation yet. Um, but you can already safely assume that in a few minutes there will be a movie rendered and delivered through this URL. And so you can already write a blog post, a news article, you can already edit wiki pages and use this link. And be sure that in a few minutes you will have a first version delivered through this. This first version might be grainy, as you can see the quality isn't great yet, but it will update in the background. So in some more minutes and in some hours, maybe overnight, you will then have gradually a perfect production quality rendering delivered through this same link. And you don't have to do anything about it anymore. It all happens automatically in the background. All right, now as I mentioned, uh, the, the idea is that anyone can create a visualization. But another point is that if the wizard is not enough for you, so if you need custom modification, if you need manual changes to the visualization, you can give that on to designer and he or she can make the changes and start a new version 
insert a new version into the system. And this works by offering a download link to the Blender file. So as soon as a visualization is created in the system, a Blender file is internally created, which can be downloaded, changed and uploaded again. And so the visualization can be customized. And as you can already see, the first pass is already through. So we now already have download links for a finished animation. So to different formats like MP4, OGV, WebM and so on. And also to discrete images, uh, which can also be SVG, so vector graphics, if you choose a blueprint-like style. All right, so uh, let's demo this um, functionality, how a designer could um, build up on this uh, visualization, uh, sorry, generator created data. So I download the blend file and I open it with Blender. And now, as you can see, this is exactly the thing that Elmira is using on the server um, to render the animation. And now I can go in and do basically anything that I can do in um, Blender. So I can just, for instance, change the color to green. And I could, for instance, say, OK, I don't want this smooth model, but actually I want a kind of Minecraft style blocky model. So I'm just going to make those changes and let's have a quick look at the rendering. So this is what I really want, let's, let's say. Okay, and then I can simply save that on my desktop, for instance. Let's call that Lens Design Turntable Altered and save it. And now I can already close Blender again. And now I can choose the link here and say update and upload blend file. And here I pick this Blender file that I've created, open it, and within a few seconds it has created a new version, as you can see here. And as soon as the, second, the next pass here has rendered through, so it's currently rendering more samples, so improving quality, as soon as that is through, um, it will render this new version. And as I have mentioned, the link to the latest version will then, if I choose that, so this link will then deliver the new version that I've uploaded. In case I have uh, different hardware iterations, for instance, instance, and I want to link to a specific version, I can also do that by just picking one of those versions specifically and then embedding this link. So as you can see, this has in the end not latest, but the timestamp of this version. Okay, and basically that's what I wanted to show. Thank you for uh, listening to this. Uh, thank you for watching this. And um, would be great to get some feedback from you. Bye.